Welcome back to Houston Life. This weekend at Post Houston, the Vibe Artisan Market returns, and there's all kinds of handmade goods. You can find art, and you can find all the things that we have here on this table, yep. jewelry, bags, all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, the list goes on and on, and Christina Terry, the organizer, is joining us now with more on the market. She is a Houston lifer, um, regular now. Just me. Yes, and you're doing this again. They've been really successful. What do you have going on this weekend? So this one is going to be our spring showcase. We're okay. doing this in all of our major cities, uh, Denver, Dallas, Austin, and Houston. Wow. So next up is Houston, then next weekend will be Denver. That's so, so cool. Yeah, this is just a huge showcase of different artists. We have 120 artists. We have free cocktails. We have an art gallery. We have an espresso bar. There's 15 restaurants on site. It's all at post. Wow. Hey, you know what I love about this? I feel like there is, this is really one of those places where there's something for everybody, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Like there's so many different vendors with all kinds of different mm. eclectic things you really can walk in not needing anything but walking out with a ton of stuff right that's true you're always welcome to gift yourself yeah. <laughs> you don't need um, a season or a different holiday in order to purchase from these artists it really is something that you can adorn your house with um, it's something for all seasons uh, you know you don't have to gift. This is a very important thing for yourself too, to allow yourself to have beautiful things in your own home and adoring yourself with as well. Well, you know what, Christina, a lot of people, for those that don't know, Christina actually started this during the pandemic. Stay at home mom, like from stay at home mom to full on business um, with the Vibe Artisan Markets. It's expanded into another state. It's yeah. in Denver now. Yeah. You know, we're lucky to have her right here in Texas, really bringing all of these local artisans together um, because at a point in time, it was their livelihood. Yes. Yes. And it still is for a lot yes. of them. So a lot of this happened, um, it was a renegade period during COVID when a lot of people were starting to lean on their creative side um, and their small businesses to make ends meet with uh, corporate loss of jobs. Of course. And so we wanted to give them a physical showcase. And this has just built out in the last three years and three months to something that is really incredibly large. Yeah. I know you may have mentioned it briefly, but how many different local vendors do you guys have at the event? We usually pull about 80% hyper local. Okay. And then we allow from other states. I mean, we've had artists from the Barbados and St. Thomas fly in from Hawaii. Um, a good majority of them in Colorado, seeing one of the reasons that we did expand there um, and all over the state. So we do allow 20% of those people, those artists to be out of state. That's so cool. And yeah. what is so cool about this is that they're making these things with their hands. Yeah. So if there's quality products. I mean, these are some of the things that we featured before. These, the, what the camera's seeing now, mm -hmm. burning stones I'm, I'm not kidding. You could not support a better family when you make yeah. one of these beautiful purchases. And that's because I've gotten the chance to get to know yeah. some of these families. You can go to the Vibes Market and you can meet the artisans and just hear them talk about what, how'd you get into this? How'd you get into ceramics? It's a really, really cool yeah. opportunity. Listening to their stories is instant validation for that artist. It shows that you care about what they have made. Um, again, I bring this up a lot, but artist imposter syndrome is real. And so something like this from Desert Willow, she's like, well, I think it's gorgeous. I really, really like it. But then she gets it in front of people and they get very nervous. So you just being there validates that work. So Let me ask you this. Are you doing this by yourself? Who are you working with to put this together? <laughs> yeah, it's a huge, huge undertaking. It is just me and my husband. Okay. So two years ago, actually almost three in August, he quit his job as a research and development chemist uh, for a biorenewable fuel company here in Houston to be a stay-at-home dad and support my mission oh. of helping more artists. Incredible, That's incredible. Yeah. And just like they say, you know, behind every man is a strong woman. Same thing for, oh for you being yeah. so strong, always traveling to put on these markets. He's like holding down the floor for yeah. you. So congratulations to you both. I would not be able to do this without him. This is a free event. So yes. people can attend free. They can mm -hmm. go in and appreciate the art. We're having the uh, details right here up on your screen. 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Post HGX. What a great venue. Guys, this is something I have attended. I have shopped till I drop. I mean, anything you can think of from terrarium to sweet treats, uh, just an, it's, an, vibe. it's a total vibe. It is, right? hey. it is a total vibe. I'm telling Warren in the break, I'm like, you need to it's, go to this. Yes, you did. Need <laughs> <laughs> Christina Terry, you're a rock star. Uh, Brad, husband Brad, you're a rock star as well. You can stay really? in touch really? with Vibe Artisan Markets on Instagram. That's on, we will put that on our website, and all you have to do is look for the scene on Houston Life section of HoustonLife.tv.